In this video presentation, we are going to discuss a very important part of ISO implementation. That is, how you plan your ISO implementation. Whether your company is going for ISO 9001 quality certification, 14001 environment certification, or 18001 health safety certification, ISO 22000 food safety certification, ISO 17025 laboratory accreditation, or ISO 27001 Information Security Management Certification or any other ISO implementation and certification, a very important part that will define the success and effectiveness of overall ISO implementation is how to plan your entire implementation. We as one of the largest process management consulting companies in the world with various business entities like Lakshi Management Consultancy Private Limited in India, Europe and Africa, Sterling International Consulting in the USA, UK, Singapore, Africa, Australia, Central Asia and the UAE, while as Informatics Consultancy in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman and Bahrain always tell to our clients that the end of the ISO implementation process is not just a certificate that you proudly hang on the wall. The end is how to get an effective system in place. If you get a certificate without an effective system, that is of no use. We tell our clients that certification is a byproduct of a strong and effective system we build in the organization. An organization must get value out of the system. They should be able to realize the benefit and they should have direct impact on the profitability, competitiveness and effectiveness of the company. Now, when you decide to go for ISO certification, what do you need to do? It has to start with top management commitment. ISO implementation has to be a top-down approach with top management playing a very active part in the implementation from start to finish. Second, you need to make sure that you plan out an elaborate training session for people in the organization because ISO standards, be it quality, environment, health safety, information security, food safety, laboratory management, or any ISO standard you take, is nothing but bringing the cultural change in the mindset of people of the organization. So you need to make sure that at different levels, at different hierarchies, training programs are planned out and effectively implemented. The third step is a very important activity known as gap analysis or business process review. You need to hire a consulting company like Lakshi Management Consultant or Sterling International Consulting or Informatics Consultancy who will tell you in black and white that Hey, this is what the requirement of the standard is, this is where you stand, these are the gaps in your system, and this is what we expect you to do in order to meet the complaints requirement for the ISO standard. A strong gap analysis will ensure that you achieve the desired results from your ISO implementation project. You also need to make sure that you identify the management representative and you identify the process representatives who will work on the gap analysis by preparation of various process and compliance documentations. The fourth step is documentation, which might include manuals, procedures, policies, risk assessment, work instruction, templates, formats, checklists and any kind of documentation. This documentation has to be implemented properly. After you start implementation, the documentation will go to a couple of iterations because at the first go, documentation might not be the perfect document, so documents will go for a couple of changes until it's finalised. After documentation in the fifth step, you need to have internal auditor training and carry out internal audits to ensure you check effectiveness of your ISO system implementation. We can provide training on internal audit to your team or even carry out internal audit on your behalf. If you wish, we can provide practical on-the-site assistance to your team to execute their first internal audit under guidance and supervision of our expert consultants and auditors. We guide you to close the findings of internal audit. In the sixth stage, we carry out a pre-assessment audit to ensure your organisation is ready for audit. After this, you need to contact an accredited certification body to carry out stage one and stage two audits. You need assistance in selection of the most appropriate certification body. We can provide the same. We even provide assistance in addressing any audit findings and making sure that you get certified to ISO 9001, ISO 14001, OHSAS 18001, ISO 22000, HACCP, ISO 17025, ISO 27001, etc. 
in the most professional way with the best in-class implementation tools and consulting process.